In our previous session, we learned about checking subtraction using addition. Today, we will learn about addition and subtraction together. For example, 6039 minus 5153 plus 1905. Okay, if we have been given subtraction and addition together, what we have to do is, first we will arrange the number of the same sign together. Okay, if there is no sign before this number, this is the sign of addition. First, we will rewrite it. Okay, 6039 plus 1905 minus 5153. First, we have to add these two numbers. 6039 plus 1905. Once. 10, 100, 1000. 9 plus 5, 14. 1. 1 plus 3, 4. 0 plus 9, 9. 6 plus 1, 7. Sum we call 7,944. Now here write this sum. 7,944 minus this sum. 5,153. Okay. 4 minus 3 answer is 1. Here we cannot subtract 5 from 4. Okay, then borrow 1 from here now 14. 14 minus 5 that is 9. Here after borrowing here 8 is left. 8 minus 1 7. Okay. Then here 7 minus 5 2. And final answer we go 2791. We arrange in this way 6039 minus 5153 plus 1905 is equal to 2791. Look at another example 2375 plus 1565 minus 2860. Add the numbers this. 2375 plus 1565. Okay. Add these two numbers. 1, 10, 100, 1, 1 plus 7, 8. 8 plus 6, 14. 1, 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 5, 9. 2 plus 1, 3. Then subtract 2860 from 3940. And write here 3940 minus then 2860. Okay. Then here 1, 10, 100, 1000. 0 minus 0, 0. 4 minus 6, not possible. Borrow 1 from here then 14. 14 minus 6, 8. Here, after borrowing here, 8 is left. 8 minus 8, 0. Okay, here 3 minus 2, 1. And final answer we got 1080. Then. Estimating the difference. We have already learned how to round off the numbers. Based on that concept, we will learn about estimating the difference. For example, estimate the difference of 78 and 52 to the nearest tens. 78 is rounded off to the nearest 10, that is 80. Okay, then next 52. 52 is rounded off to the nearest 10, nearest 10, that is 50. Okay, then estimated difference. First, we have to find out estimated difference. Estimated difference. Okay, then 80 minus 50. 0 minus 0, 0. 8 minus 5, 3. Then let us find out the actual difference. Okay. Here actual difference. 78 minus 52. Here 8 minus 2, 6. 7 minus 5, 2. Solve another example. Estimate the difference of 892 and 720 to the nearest hundreds. First, we have to write 892 to the nearest 100, that is 900, okay. Then next is 720 to the nearest 
to the nearest hundred that is 700 okay then estimated difference estimated difference 900 minus 700 0 0 9 minus 7 2 answer we got 200 now let us find out the actual difference actual difference 892 minus 720 here 2 9 minus 2 7 8 minus 7 1 172 now let us learn about weight problems of subtraction exercise 3.7 First question. In a school, there are 975 students. Among them, 398 are boys. Find out the number of girls in the school. Okay. Solution. In, read it carefully. Again, in, uh, in a school, there are 975 students. Okay. Total number of students. Total number of students is equal to 975. Among them, 398 are boys. The number of boys. Number of boys is equal to 398. Find out the number of girls. Number of girls is equal to is equal to total number of students minus number of boys. That means 975 minus 398. Okay. Then subtract this. 975 minus 398 is on 1s, 10s, hundreds. Okay. First, we have to subtract the 1s column. Mm. 5 minus 8 is not possible. Then borrow 1 from here. Close it and write here 15. 15 minus 8, 7. Okay. Then now 6 is left. Okay. 6 minus 9 is also not possible. Then Borrow 1 from here. 16. 16 minus 9. 7. Again here. 8 is left. 8 minus 3. 5. Then final answer we got 577. Number of girls is equal to 577 girls. Question number 2. A box can hold 600 oranges. 270 oranges are already there in the box. How many more oranges can be put in the box? Solution. Holding capacity of a box. Holding capacity of a box is equal to 600 oranges. Then 270 oranges are already there in the box. Number of oranges, number of oranges already in the box is equal to 270. Okay, then third step, more oranges that can be put in the box is equal to 600 minus 270 okay then subtract 600 minus 270 ones tens hundreds here 0 minus 0 0 here 0 minus 7 is not possible then borrow 1 from here, then 10. 10 minus 7, 3. Then in 100th place, here 5 is left. 5 minus 2, 3. Okay. Then answer we got 330. Then how many more oranges? 330 more oranges can be put in the box. We have completed our chapter. I hope all have understood the terms and concepts which we have learned up till now. Now you have to make sure that you all complete your worksheets which I will send you after the session. Okay, thank you.